came out here the other night, there was tons of does. I mean, there had to have been 30 plus deer on this field before it got dark. So, uh, and no mature bucks. So I think a lot of the breedings were done was uh, it's November 27th. So I'm sure there's still a few does left and probably all the bucks are just circled around those last few does. So we're just hoping one of those does gets chased out on the field and hopefully she's got two or three mature bucks with her uh, are pretty good deer for us to pick from so we'll see what happens it's just a matter of time just got to keep putting time on this field and one's bound to step out so stick with us right here on daywalker tv got the car ready to roll got the six sorter range finder got the kilo 2400 bdx beautiful range finder linked with my kestrel ballistics so There was a herd of cattle going across that field. Where those deer came from, I have no clue. What in the world? Maybe they're being chased. I don't see any bucks. What are those deer over there for? They're about 900 yards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like nine of them. I'm telling you, people. It's just, it's wide open from here, across the road, for about a mile to the river. You know, I thought about it, but we had a pretty bad gust and wind. It, it wasn't very consistent. It was kind of hovering between. Four to psh, ten mile an hour. No, I just didn't. I didn't want to shoot that far. That gusting wind, it was changing. So it's supposed to calm down here a little bit. So uh, I bet that group of does walks back out. But they look like they were running from something. I don't know if a coyote boogered them up or or what happened. But they kept looking back. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I decide I should have time to go prone for better stability, and better recoil management for the shot. Smoked. Smokes anything. <laughs> Six eighty seven. Six eighty seven. <laughs> 
687 yards right there to that dell all the way across. Sounded like it absolutely hammered her. <laughs> I got holding 5.6. I'm gonna try to light it up. I don't, I don't know if you guys can actually see it or not. Uh, right there, maybe. Holding 5.6 on elevation. Uh, I held uh, like 0.6 maybe for wind. Felt like the wind had calmed down a little bit. Maybe a five mile an hour wind or so. And uh, sent her home. So shooting 143 grain ELDX factory. Horn of the ammo right there. So 6.5 Creedmoor, Bagara. Yeah, let's do it. It's still super early, like three o'clock. So we can uh, just wait for Armando to walk out now. So stick with us, Daywalker TV. Smoked. Smoke city, baby. <laughs> so, uh, tech tip, always carry an extra rangefinder battery. Here we are, prime time, no wind now, you know, rifle season, bucks chasing the last does on a wee field, ready to rock and roll. Unfortunately for the rest of the evening, no mature bucks show up. But I'm going to head over and try to recover both these does. Well, guys, here's that second one. She's a little closer. She's a little over 200 yards. 
I just couldn't help it. She's all by herself. Nice fat doe. Get her quartered up. And we'll go get the other one, hopefully. Stick Ooh, with us. That is freaking insane, dude. Here's the green field. Got my buddy Tyler on the phone. Tyler DeShazo. Another up? another big deer killer. Tell, tell him hi, Tyler. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I found where she went in some blood. It looked like she... She went in right next to this tree on the video. And I found blood about 10 yards in. And it looks like she's following this trail. There's a pretty good deer trail right here. Looks like she's following. Let's see if I can find any more blood. Had blood about two yards back there. Just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, she was definitely going this way on this trail. There's just a little bit of blood. There's some more blood right there. You pick it up a little bit? Yeah. There's blood on that leaf. Looks like she's still running this trail. Not bleeding a whole lot. White belly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Holy crap. She only went, I don't know, 25 yards in here, some thick stuff. Here she is. Here she is. Hit her a little high, but I bet I got both lungs. You had to smoke her, dude. Yeah, that bullet's dropping pretty fast, on too. Maybe it dropped down in both lungs. I hit a buck with my bow one time right there, and I still clip both lungs, and arrows don't explode, so <laughs> I bet it uh, I bet it hit both of her lungs, so. Dude, that is wild. 700 yards. 687, pretty close. Nice big fat doe, number two, so. Well, let's see if I can get. Well, I look forward to you training me up so I can do it. <laughs> Tyler's uh, wanting to do some long range stuff here pretty soon, so we will uh, get him hooked up pretty soon. So, had a doe at about 200 come out, roasted her, already got her packed up and in the truck, and had this doe come out at 687 yards. Pretty good little poke. So, uh, I think her and a group came from the south the first time. It was about 10 of them out of nowhere. It's like a mile to the river, nothing that way. They came across and I had a real fast wind, gusting wind. Go from five mile an hour to 12 mile an hour, it was gusting real bad. And I just didn't, I didn't feel, uh, I didn't feel like that shot was, was worth taking and, and a, a very good shot to take. So I decided to hold off, see if the wind calms down, which it did about 20 or 30 minutes later. It calmed down to about a five mile an hour consistent wind, which that's, that's money right there. So doe stepped back out, one of them, and you know, I held about 0.6 mils on the wind hold, and that's all she wrote. Looks like it sailed right in there. Wasn't perfect, perfect, but, hey, I, <laughs> I'm not going to whine about that. I think I took out both her lungs. She only ran about, I don't know, 25 yards over here in the woods. So shooting 143 grain ELDX factory ammo, and we've just had awesome success with them as far as uh, killing animals and, and killing animals fast. Uh, a lot better than the old match bullets I, I kind of used for some coyote hunt and predator hunting before. Just seems like it really rips them a new one. So I'm really liking those bullets. So I appreciate you guys that the old Kestrel saved the day today. I don't know what I'd do without one of these. I guess I'd just use uh, 
some more drop data on the side of my gun, but I really I really like double checking my drop when I get a when I get a range on my ballistics calculator. So I appreciate you guys watching and tune in next time. We're back after the coyotes now. Deer season's pretty much over. And that's 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 the bread and butter of this channel. So I'm ready to get back after them. Daywalker TV, thank you guys. Daywalker TV is brought to you by A and J Sporting. Fast is fine, but accuracy is final. And Mid America Optics.